How to hire a contractor, tip number two. Referrals aren't always going to be as good as you think. Now, I know what you're thinking. The best way to find anyone is through a referral, and I'm here to tell you that that isn't going to be a guaranteed 100% success rate and the best way to find anyone. I've found out that dentists, doctors, contractors, real estate professionals, um, you name it, anyone in the service business, I've had less than a 50% success rate using referrals and almost feel like I'd do just as good by opening up the phone book and uh, just picking out anybody in there. So again, there are people who swear up and down on these things. Hey, knock yourself out. Uh, go for it. However, I would like to warn you guys in advance that a referral might not um, work out and again I've had it happen more than once I've either had them charge me more money than I should have or um, the workmanship wasn't done well and again I'm not just referring to contractors I fell in with a dentist who everybody swore up and down on and uh, this guy ended up you know doing some damage to my teeth that uh, realistically isn't ever going to be fixed unless I plan on paying an exorbitant amount of money. So it isn't just contractors. We've got other problems with referrals. Um, now here's one another thing that you need to know about referrals when it comes to professionals. A lot of times if you're referred to a professional like a contractor take me for example I'm a contractor someone calls me up and says hey we got your name from so-and-so this is almost a guaranteed job for me I can actually charge more money for the project because I've got a pretty good idea that these people aren't going to shop around the other people have already told them how happy they are with me and um, you know there's no need to shop around they're already pre-sold on the project now this is a, this is why we need to get three estimates you know if you're going to get referrals get at least three of them and get three estimates but it isn't going to do you any good to get one referral um, and then hire the contractor and even like I said another service professional get at least three estimates before making up your mind and again these three estimates aren't going to guarantee you the best price the best product or the best service we know this but it's going to be better than one and another thing you can do with a referral is if you do get you like one of the contractors but they're a little high um, let's say you got one price at eight thousand one at ten thousand one at twelve thousand but you like the guy who's got the twelve thousand dollar bid then you can always show the other estimates to him and find out if they're willing to come down or not. And if they are willing to come down, this might be another sign that um, they were going to take advantage of you. And again, you know, they might not be the contractor of your choice after all. So then I would suggest that you get a few other estimates and go from there. So finding a reliable contractor isn't always going to be easy, but as long as you're going to look, then you might as well take your time and do a little more research, find out a little more about their company, and of course some of the projects they've done in the area. And I don't have a surefire way for finding a contractor um, a great contractor but I do have a few things that you can arm yourself with and a little more knowledge is always going to be helpful so again I got a book here you guys can check out it's a uh, hiring contractors fantastic book it's definitely worth the money um, let's just face it if one of these books I have save you a couple of bucks it is going to be worth it